But wait, aren't chess masters and people who can multiply six-digit numbers in their heads exceptionally gifted? Not necessarily. I'm going to tell it to you straight. Sure, intelligence matters. Being smarter often equates to having a larger working memory. Your hot rod of a memory may be able to hold nine things in mind instead of four, and you can latch onto those things like a bulldog, which makes it easier to learn. But guess what? It also makes it more difficult for you to be creative. How's that? It's our old friend and enemy, Einstellung. The idea you are already holding in mind can block you from fresh thoughts. A superb working memory can hold its thoughts so tightly that new thoughts can't easily peek through. Such tightly controlled attention could use an occasional whiff of ADHD-like fresh air. The ability, in other words, to have your attention shift even if you don't want it to shift. If you're one of those people who can't hold a lot in mind at once, you lose focus and start daydreaming in lectures and have to get to someplace quiet to focus so you can use your working memory to its maximum, well, welcome to the clan of the creative. Having a somewhat smaller working memory means you can more easily generalize your learning into new, more creative combinations.